Another cool thing that you can do in Story View is you can use your slide properties panel, which typically when you go into a slide, let's see here. When we go into a slide, to get to the slide properties, you click on the cog and then it brings up the properties. However, when you're in Story View, you can access the slide properties right on the right hand side underneath of the triggers panel. So say we want to expand this scene. We've got five slides and say we want to have them all um, change to automatically decide when revisiting. All we would do is we would right click and uh, or control A, select them all, and then you could decide to make them all automatically decide. And so now when you go through, you'll see that all those reset to initial states have changed to automatically decide. Now you can do this with any of the slide properties. So um, say we wanted to do custom for these, these slides, we could tick off menu and resources, say we didn't want those. We could change how the slide advances, whether it's automatically or by user. And those are just a couple of neat things that you can do without having to go into slide view. And it makes it a lot faster, especially when you're looking at like larger, um, larger modules like this one that have 20 plus slides, you don't want to have to go individually through each slide and set the slide properties using the cog. It's much easier to do it from story view.